So here is a model of the larynx, and we've got four cartilaginous structures to go over. The first is the thyroid, which is the biggest cartilage of the larynx, and it serves as the anterior attachment to the vocal folds. Um, also in the front, we've got the most inferior cartilage, the cricoid. It kind of looks like a signet ring, because it's large in the back and pretty skinny in the front. Um, it's another unpaired cartilage along with the thyroid. All right, so we've got two more cartilages here. They're paracartilage. The arytenoids serve as the posterior attachment for the vocal folds. And then the last cartilage we've got is the epiglottis that runs from the thyroid all the way and it kind of hangs over the laryngeal additus and its function is it kind of it serves to kind of protect the airway from food particles that might fall in so we've also got a few muscles so the muscle outlined in yellow is the transverse arytenoid and that is an intrinsic adductor and it courses across the posterior side of both arytenoids and when it contracts it pulls the arytenoids together which therefore pulls the vocal folds together. Uh, the muscles drawn in in reddish pink are the oblique arytenoids and they course from the inferior side of one arytenoid to the superior side of the other arytenoid and when they contract they also will pull the arytenoids closer together. Um, seeing that they are intrinsic adductors and pull the vocal folds close together as well. The last muscles that we have are the paired epiglottic muscles that you see outlined in green and they course from the arytenoids and they insert into the side, lateral sides of the epiglottis. And when they contract, they pull the epiglottis down over the laryngeal cavity and make sure that it is protected from potential food particles or other invading substances. So the major function of the larynx that's not speech related is to maintain airflow since below the cricoid is the trachea. Um, and so the arytenoids, when they are pulled closer together, they will close the um, glottis, which would, will close the airway, but then when they are abducted, they will open up the airway, allowing air to pass through in and out of the lungs. And then for speech, which is another major, major function of the larynx, um, when the arytenoids are abducted or adducted, they will Therefore, pull the vocal folds closer together, which allows for phonation, which is a basis for speech.